Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here today coming at you with yet another episode of Building Tatooine in Lego. And this is episode number 6. And today once again we have a ton of work done as Moss Eisley Spaceport is pretty much complete. Um, now basically what is um, remaining in terms of for the spaceport is just more staging. Uh, but now in the next couple episodes, we will be building outward to the right past the spaceport and we'll actually be going on to the desert area and then eventually Jabba's palace. So I do want to get maybe two to three more episodes for that. Then I'll have probably the 10th episode just focusing on minifigures and then will be the finale. So here is Moss Eisley as a whole. This is a 18 tan base plate, 36 by 36 stud base plate mock, and definitely it's looking great. So in terms of the new things done in this segment, we of course have this whole area done with the hangar, those two buildings there, and the building in the back, and then also some modifications to the junkyard, as well as uh, work on the buildings in the back. So there's a ton to go with, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, before we get on to the actual new material that we did for this episode, I just wanted to show you one entire view of Tatooine all together because I really haven't really done that. Um, but now it's pretty safe to say that this is how Moss Eisley Spaceport will be looking. So, of course, um, just to go through once more, we got the hangar bay, we got the slave quarters, and then we got a variety of buildings over here. In the back, we of course have pretty much our skyscrapers of Tatooine. I might be adding one more. Um, and then we got a few more buildings. You got the Mos Eisley Cantina and the Imperial Checkpoint on the right. But now without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the new material. All right, so pretty much everything you see here is um, new in terms of this section right here. So as you can see, we of course added two more buildings in the corner. And those definitely are very simple, but I think they were definitely needed. They're more of like filler type buildings. You, of course, um, have uh, now an entrance to the junkyard, as seen with that red awning. And I'll get into that in a bit. We have some more detailing done here on the side. And then the newest um, thing is we, of course, have our hangar bay. And this was definitely pretty big um, in Star Wars um, and what that was one of the main parts of Tatooine as of course after all it is a spaceport um, so I really had to do it um, make one of those um, yes it took up a ton of brick as it may not look like it but there are about 14 or so uh, bricks in each row and there are probably over 20 um, such rows um, so they're definitely a lot of brick but I think it's really turned out well so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, so we will start off here at the very side. You can see I just added some minor detailing with a few boxes and like spare parts. I mean, just to show that this was um, like a spaceport and therefore people bring material in and out all the time. Some of it does get left behind. And that's pretty much what I showed there. Um, and I think it really looks pretty good. And it'll definitely look a lot better when I add minifigures. Moving along, this is the entire um, docking bay, um, and I really like how it's looking out here. So you can see I did use a like a ovular type of pattern right there, um, using these type of uh, one by four like hinge plates, and those really look good. You can see, of course, inside we have some detailing with like the tube on the left. We of course have the ship in the middle. And we have a few boxes and crates at the end. So you can see, of course, we have these Mandalorian bounty hunters who are uh, undocking some supplies. We don't know if it's illegal or not. That's why the deck officer is coming to um, ask for their papers. And definitely it's looking pretty good. Now, it might not look like it, but this is a very big, um, a very big uh, docking bay as I can actually fit the Slave 1 in terms of length, I can actually fit the entire like uh, playset Slave 1 inside. So it's definitely quite large. I can fit the Imperial uh, Shuttle, like the Imperial Shuttle um, inside. So definitely it's a very large docking bay. 
Um, of course, those two are a bit tall, so I would have to make it taller, but I think I'm going to add this vehicle inside just so there's, uh, so the docking bay isn't too tall, plus you can see in the back. Um, so I definitely like how the docking bay is turned out. Moving along, this is just some more detailing. This is like some Imperial supplies which were delivered. You of course have a, some spare parts in the back and then a ton of Imperial crates and you have a droid and another stormtrooper. Here's a quick look at the two buildings in the back and that I just added for making a bit of a road going across um, to the slave quarters. And then this is um, another part. We of course have this building here and there's a bit of a awning which uh, leads into the alleyway um, which would lead into the junkyard which I'll show you right now. Alright so the junkyard is actually a lot larger therefore it's kind of easy to see when you come up to um, the mock. So it was actually ended about here, so I increased it about this much. Um, and I think it really looks good because Tatooine isn't like the cleanest, safest place, so there's a lot of junk everywhere, and that's kind of what I wanted to show over there. And then next to the slave quarters over here, you can see we got another junkyard full of larger um, parts. We got a, like some of the turbo tank type wheels, we got some like rocket engines, we got some um, legs of like various walkers and it's just to show that it's kind of like a mess um, and there's all these parts of like ships broken down and everything that people are ending up trying to sell. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe in the future I might take that out and add another building. I'm not sure but right now I don't have any more parts um, so therefore I have just added that for the time being. Moving along these are your three skyscrapers um, of Tatooine. The middle one was done quite some time ago um, and then this smaller one here I did not have too many parts left so I had to make end it at that height. Maybe in the future I will raise that. And then this is probably one of my favorite buildings of Tattoo and I just love how it looks. And this is like you can see it's like going inward, inward, inward. It's like one of those kind of skyscraper tops like in cities. Um, and I think that really looks pretty good. Um, I would love to do something like that on this side as well. But for now, this is how it looks and it definitely looks very nice. Add some real diversity, much needed diversity to the spaceport. Alright, and that's going to do it for episode 6 of Building Tatooine in Lego. So definitely I am very proud of how it has turned out. I think this is definitely a pretty decent size uh, for Mos Eisley. Of course, the hangar bay adding some much needed diversity um, to the spaceport. Same with that building in the back. But uh, before we actually end this episode off, I just want to give you a bit more of the official type of schedule of what's going to be going on um, in the next episode. So as I move the camera over here, I will be getting another table which will be going over there. Um, as I do need to, um, this mock will be extended by another three base plates out that way, three base plates, or uh, like three base plates out that way for a total of nine base plates. Um, and that's basically going to be the desert. Um, and I'll have a few Tuscan Raider encampments there. And then also I'll have a bit of a mountain on top of which will be Java's Palace. So definitely very exciting. Um, definitely stay tuned for that. Hopefully in the next two episodes, maybe three, I will have Jabba's Palace all put and completed along with the desert, leaving the 10th episode to be just about minifigures as that is also a bit more of an expensive task. Um, and then probably episode 11, which will actually be just the finale video where I do a complete overview of the mock. So we're definitely getting there. Hopefully I can get maybe the finale out end of May if not early June. So yeah that's just a look at the schedule. Definitely um, stick around as it's going to be pretty fun. June will come a lot faster than you think. But anyways thank you so much for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up as that would really help support this project and definitely stay tuned for more episodes coming soon. And this is just a bit of another announcement as dealing to the First Order Star Destroyer. Folks have been asking that video will actually be delayed by a week or two as I'm actually completely redoing that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe down below. 
This is Brick Wizard 59 and I'll see you all next time.